Thank you for using our online demo. In the next couple of minutes, you will see just how quickly and easy it is to realize significant cost savings while optimizing your existing IT infrastructure with CA Technologies Capacity Management Solution. It's no surprise that we see increasing demands on IT today while IT's budgets remain flat, and this gap is growing over time. At CA Technologies, we see our capacity management solution enabling customers to lower capital and operating expenses while increasing profits. Let's look at a small example of how CA's capacity management solution can help you realize significant cost savings within your current IT infrastructure. Identify one server that has either been over-provisioned or can be removed from production because it sits idle. I'm sure we can all think of many servers that fit this scenario. Now, think about how much money it costs to procure that server. There's some cost savings right there. And what about the cost of powering that server, licensing the hardware and software on that server, and the support and maintenance costs? We've just identified a way to reduce costs with just one server. Now multiply this example by thousands of servers in your environment, and you'll begin to realize just how much money you can save to meet the demands of your business and fund more innovative projects. To see how this is done, let's get started with our demo. In this example, we will be considering our current vBlock platform and whether it would be cost effective to consolidate our hosted VMs to another hardware platform we have in-house. As can be seen in our server capacity consumption dashboard, utilization is low on this cluster of physical servers. They were only using about a third of their resources. The blue area shows us current resource utilization while the gray area is the amount of headroom or white space these servers could be utilizing from the current capacity of the hardware. To drill in to see the utilization on the individual servers making up this cluster, select servers. These are the physical servers within this cluster with varying levels of utilization. Select Return. Now we're back and are looking at the utilization on the remaining physical hosts in our other cluster on our vBlock. Once again, we see very low utilization. To drill down into the physical hosts making up this cluster, select Servers. Once again, low utilization on these physical servers in our vBlock. Select Return. So as we saw, we have a total of eight physical hosts in our vBlock. So now let's take a look at the utilization of the virtual machines these physical servers are hosting. Select Demos 4799. And again, we see low utilization within this server capacity consumption dashboard. We can drill down to see the individual VMs and their current capacity consumption as well. Select Servers. We can see hundreds of VMs hosted in this environment and just how much capacity they are consuming, which seems to be very little from this data. We can also see how much these virtual machines are costing the IT organization to currently host since we have applied CPU, memory, and any additional costs within the solution already. As can be seen here, it is costing this organization approximately $2.3 million to host this environment. So let's see how we can optimize this environment by consolidating on fewer physical servers while increasing the overall utilization. And maybe we'll see some cost savings as well. Select the VPM tab. This is the Virtual Placement Manager, which is CA Technology's simulation tool that performs large-scale infrastructure placement and optimization activities. Let's add all of our VMs in both clusters hosted on our vBlock. To add all 242 VMs to our placement scenario, select Add All. To add the additional virtual environment, select DevLab 1125. Now we'll add the remaining 54 virtual machines for a total of 296 VMs for our placement scenario. Select Add All. On the right hand side is our destination hosts where we would like to place these virtual machines in our scenario. These Dell R910s are physical servers we have in-house already, but not currently in production. In the reserve section is where we assign the headroom we want to maintain for additional capacity down the road. We do not want to build a cluster that is maxed out at 
Our effective throughput section is the amount of bandwidth each physical host will be able to utilize. In the Placement Options section, we will allow the tool to auto-scale our VMs across those physical hosts as it sees fit, taking into consideration past performance data of those VMs and the new hardware's horsepower. And finally, we want the tool to optimally place our VMs in our existing virtual machine templates. Here we see we have a 1 CPU by 2 gig RAM, 2 CPU by 4 gig of RAM, and so on. As we mentioned earlier, our VM templates have costs associated with maintaining them for the organization, CPU memory, and any additional costs that will be used to determine how much it costs IT to host these services for the business. In this example, we know that it is costing the organization approximately $2.3 million to host and maintain all 296 VMs for the organization. Select Solve Placement. The simulation tool is currently calculating where to optimally place all 296 VMs on the new Dell cluster, considering the detailed information it knows already about the hardware resources. It seems like our simulation has completed. Select Placement Replay. Scrolling down, we see the placement results. Our simulation tool has optimally placed the workload from our virtual environment on our vBlock evenly across the Dell R910 cluster. What was originally eight physical servers hosting our 296 virtual machines on our vBlock at what we saw was very low utilization is now right sized to four physical servers on our Dell cluster with utilization levels at around 50% across all servers in that cluster. We have decreased our server count by 50%, a savings for the organization, and increased our infrastructure utilization by 25%. That's not bad at all. And now this data can be fed to CA's automation suite for clouds to do the automated provisioning of all 296 VMs to our Dell cluster according to the Capacity Management Solutions recommendations. To take a look at the evenly placed workload, select each Dell R910 server. To take a look at the details of the placement, select Placement Table. By optimizing our infrastructure, and consolidating underutilized servers, it would now cost our IT organization $1.3 million to host our new virtual environment versus $2.3 million on the existing vBlock architecture for a savings of a million dollars. Much of the savings can be attributed to the intelligence of the solution right-sizing our VMs. By understanding past performance and applying that data to our existing VM templates, CA's capacity management can intelligently place our VMs in more optimal templates so our environment is not over-provisioned. As we mentioned in the beginning of this demo, server costs do not just include the cost to procure that server. Licenses, power, support, and maintenance all play a big role in determining how much it costs an IT organization to host their hardware and virtual platforms. We removed four physical hosts during our placement exercise today decreasing our footprint by 50% and increasing our utilization by 25%, saving our company approximately a million dollars to optimally host this virtual environment. As can be seen now, there is a compounding effect that happens as you use CA Technologies Capacity Management Solution to optimize your computing platforms. The more you optimize, the more you save. Visit us today and realize the cost savings your IT organization can benefit from by using CA Technologies Capacity Management Solution.